We now have before us a distinct opportunity to honor, celebrate, and enjoy the extraordinary life of Coach Jim Sweeney. Who shall live on forever in this region. He did not just challenge, he provided the support, the love, and the passion to help his players achieve. I shall never forget the first time I met Coach Sweeney. It was at a Bulldog Foundation event, and as that event came to a close, we had the traditional singing. And as the song ended, he leaned over to me and he said, Dr. Hack could sing, you can't. <laughs> and we loved each other from then on. Over the last year, and in particular the last couple of days, I've gotten a chance to meet a bunch of the former players, many of whom are here, and his family, and to hear their story and his effect that he had on all of them. It humbles me as a coach to see what he was, his impact was on all of these people. For many of his players, he was more than just a coach, he was a father figure. So the legacy he leaves behind goes well beyond the gridiron and will be remembered for generations to come. We just won the Cowboys! He made an impression on everyone he met. Hey! In 32 years as a head coach at Montana State, Washington State, and Fresno State, he won a total of 200 games. None bigger than the monumental upset of USC 24-7 in a 1992 Freedom Bowl, which is still considered the biggest win in Fresno State history. can't measure Jim Sweeney on just wins and losses alone. This, and he'd point at you and he'd say, hey look, this is T heavy. Get him in, get him out, get going. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to introduce several of our communicators now, and I have challenged them to be T heavy. Get him in, get him out. We've all met someone in our lives that have made a big impact on us. And if you're real lucky, you meet someone that could change your whole life. And well, the day I met Jim Sweeney, he totally changed my life. I uh, was born and raised in Norway, had a ski, was offered a ski scholarship to Montana State University. And uh, the word, I guess, somehow got back to the football coach and some Norwegian ski jumper was kicking the football a long way. So. <laughs> he is my godfather, and I love Jim Sweeney. All right, so give me a B! B! Oh, bulldogs, that's horrible. <laughs> give me a B! You can do better now over here. Give me a B! B! That's a Sweeney family. That's it. Give me a U! U! Give me an L! L! Give me an L! L! Give me a D! D! Give me an O! O! Give me a G! G! Give me an S! S! Now what do you have? Bulldog! What do you have? Bulldog! What do you have? Bulldog! God bless Jim Sweeney and the Sweeney family. Good luck to you. With awesome power and finesse, them dogs defeated all the rest. That's how the Big West was won. That's how the Big West was won. And all the Sweeney kids would be sitting around, and we got a reputation of being kind of obnoxious. <laughs> what else did you think? We're like, well, Dad, the stadium is a little funky. I mean, seats about 4,000 people. And I think it was half full. And he goes, well, we're going to fix that. He's always telling me, yeah, bro, you're going to be a hell of a coach someday. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm trying to play in the NFL. What are you talking about, coach? 
No, no, no. You'll play. But you're gonna be a hell of a coach someday. I'm like, coach, I'm not coaching. You better coach. So you all saw that running. Man, dude, you were flying, too. Um, that actually was down in Arizona, September 1st of 1984, my sophomore season. If you read on your program, September 1st was Jim Sweeney's birthday. He was 55 years old that day. 40 seconds left to go in that game, and so that play when I'm scrambling to the right, and I this actually this is kind of funny because I didn't think Dad was that good a coach on that particular play, because when you see me running along the side, going sideways, he's yelling, throw it away, throw it away, run out of bounds, run out of bounds, literally, right? And then I step up, throw it to Vince Wesson, he runs in, and the best part, what you can't see, is Lou Juarez is our equipment man. And on the video, as the games, as you watch the video from the side, you could see, and Lou's got his back to the uh, field, and he's packing the stuff up because he's, he's thought we lost. And all of a sudden, he hears the noise. And you can see Lou do this, and he turns, and he sees Vince Weston running at the 50-yard line, and that's where Lou is. The funniest thing is, he beat Vince Weston to the end zone. <laughs> you Vince when I walked off that field I said did you really want me to throw it away dad and I wanted to tell you happy birthday and I love you so that was a neat experience for me so as I've reflected now in the last week on this uh, we talked and you've seen my family right you've seen the nine children that my mom seal and it was such a treat to have uh, to have her on here uh, as a part of this but uh, here's the story about our family when dad was 28, how many 28 year olds are out there? Anybody 28 years old? He had six kids. When, I, when he had me, my mom was 33 and he was 34. I was the ninth child. And uh, the one thing that was awesome for all of us is not only were we were a big family, so you had to share a mom and dad, but we had to share our dad with 100 kids. A hundred young men that Trent and everybody's talked about that we had to share with all of these gentlemen that was such a pleasure for us to be able to do because that's who he was. He was a coach and he was passionate and he was passionate about his family, he was passionate about football, and he was passionate about developing people and holding them accountable. College football has lost a great man and Fresno State football has lost a great leader but as every great leader does he leaves behind a legacy, not just of wins and losses, but to see Bulldog Stadium grow so that a multiple of people could cheer for Bulldog football. Coach Sweeney, a great man and leader. Rest in peace, Ronnie Jenkins. I want to give it up for Ronnie. And he says, you know, you haven't played very well in the last few weeks. It's 4.30 in the morning. I looked at him. I said, I don't think you've coached that well either. <laughs> How about if we talk about this when I get in the office at 8 o'clock in the morning? He's a special man, and, uh, and he meant a lot to me. I know that he's meant a lot to all of you, and you all invested a lot of time and effort to be here today. You've got those quotes. Live it. Read those things and have it change your lives. Be a better person, be a better community person, be a better husband, wife. Just challenge yourself to be better because that's what Jim Sweeney wanted us all to be better. Thank you for being here. It has made our family proud. And Trent, can you help me? How's your, you want to go deep? Okay. Well, can you go out? June, can you come here, please? I would like to present to you the game ball of life. I can't think.
thank you enough for everything you've done for the Sweeney family, for Jim Sweeney. May he rest in peace. Uh, I know that, uh, I think he's up there. I actually had a dream the other night and I woke up and it was like they were saying, hey, who's the new guy over there in the red underwear? So, uh, God bless Jim Sweeney and we love you all. Thank you. I would like for every player who's here and every coach who's here, I'd like you to stand. That's what I'm looking for. It is a true statement that Jim Sweeney built this house, but he built it on the shoulders of the men that you see standing here before you. So if you don't know the song, we're going to teach you the song. Here we go. Let's sing it loud and proud. Let's get the clap. Come on. I got that bulldog spirit up in my head. Woo! Up in my head. Up in my head. I got that bulldog spirit up in my head. Up in my head. You sing. Come on, loud. got that bulldog spirit deep in my heart. Woo! Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart. I got that bulldog spirit deep in my heart. 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 Deep in my heart.